basically all that I do with like gourmet meals and like super fancy everything. That's the most annoying thing of all. Decided to do a little cooking tutorial on what I make. So these potatoes need to be properly salted, but I do not do it beforehand when boiling because then it turns to sodium and it's not as good for you. So what I do is I just boil them as is and once they're ready and they're squishy after about 25 to 30 minutes, then I add in the butter and the salt and all the yumminess to make it good and healthy to the point where it hasn't already became sodium. So my Brussels sprouts are very unique. We'll get back to this later, but main key ingredients are a little bit of chicken stock, some teriyaki sauce, good seasoning, and a little bit of garlic and butter sauteed. As for the salmon, I'm going to start with just a little spray down. Make sure nothing bad happens in there. Then I do a lot of seasonings. So first I will do this lemon pepper. I'll do some sea salt. I'll do a dab of this. And after all that is done, a little sprinkle of garlic. And then the lemon. Then a thin coat of mayo and this on top you'll see i've sea salted it now this time now it's time for the lemon pepper wait should i record it now is it not been recording it's recording good good job thank you Let go so i'm just gonna drizzle lemon on here if you put too much it kind of ruins it so don't put too much just drizzle it on. That's it. Yeah. Last step is something you'd never expect. Just a little drop of mayo. Whoop. And you'll see. Hold on. Whoop. Stop that. So I'm just going to spread this around lightly. I may even need a drop more for this big piece. So as you can see, it's just a thin layer before I stick that dill, fresh dill on top. And then I'll do it with the next. Cut it here. Last step for this, it's super simple. And you cook it on 425 for 25 minutes. Wait for it. And then repeat. Okay, that's enough. So we wrap these bad boys up and put them in the oven. Then I move on to the mashed potatoes and the Brussels. So I just put this like this, I fold it, I stick this up, fold it out, fold it out, just make sure that they're sealed without touching the salmon, and this goes in the oven. Look at that baby, that's it, goes right in. And same with this bad boy. Russell time, so we're gonna get this butter good. I'm gonna add just a tad of the garlic because most of that's going for the baked potatoes and the steak. Um, yeah, don't mix around the thing, it will mess it up. Then this is the key ingredient to Brussels sprouts. So yucky, I made this up all on my own. Disgusting. Now, those go in together as such and pop them. So I'm going to throw all these in. I'm going to let them crisp a little bit on one side, then flip them over. And if they start to get burning or about to be burnt, I'm going to turn down the heat right now. Then I add in last minute that chicken broth to dilute it and keep them moist after they've already been crisped. Basic seasonings, this and this guy, and some Greek seasoning on each side. That's it. So I'm putting some garlic in there. The rest, the majority of this is going in those mashed potatoes. Now the reason why there's so much butter in here is because it is going to be transferred into here 
to be cooked thoroughly. So I brown them on each side with their seasoning and then I transfer them and add chicken stock again and that keeps them moist and heavenly. So it looks like a lot of butter, but remember it's going to be transferred to there and diluted with um, chicken stock. So this is just to brown it beautifully after now the garlic has gotten to be borderline burnt, which is what you want. So one minute each side, that's it. And then we flip. Cut. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of this barbecue sauce and the chicken stock. And watch it will all dilute as soon as I add this in in about two seconds. Alrighty. How perfect that came out. Looks that yummy. Right in the oven. Looks yummy. Cut it out, please. I'm just gonna pour more chicken stock in there to dilute it and then I put a lid on it and cook it on low now that they've been browned and they have all their yumminess in there. And these are heavy Brussels, Brussels sprouts, I just swear. So good. So time for salt so it doesn't become sodium, but you still gotta put a lot of salt. There's garlic in here. It looks burnt, but it's just seasoning from directly from the meat. So it's gonna be super yummy. Looks like pepper. You'll see. And then, so I'm just gonna add a dash of milk. I don't want it to be too much because it will ruin it. And then a dash of the chicken broth and I'll mash it and that's that. Done. This is the true test. I know me, I'm sorry. How do you feel? Oh, do you like it? Yeah.